um, for figure three. I'm just going to download one of the figure three things from you guys. This should do it. Okay. And then I'll open it up in iWorks. So figure three is a length tension relationship. And um, in the f next video, we'll go through a lot of detail about what this means and some molecular mechanisms behind it. But I wanted to add this part to tell you about how um, it's put together. And the rubric that we have, oops, that's the wrong one. Pull it up right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it says, generate an image showing the entire length tension relationship. Clearly label each muscle length in a text box under its associated portion of the recording. So this is actually relatively simple. The following video is going to go through a lot of detail on figure four, and that's complicated. But this one's not too bad. So we're going to look at a recording here, and all we want to do is capture the entire thing that we've done. So it's to give the reader of your report an idea of what you've actually done and the data set that you're working with. So it's really helpful. Um, and since I'm the reader, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, the, that's what's really going to be great for, for me. Um, at this point, then, what you can do is that you can, uh, to actually capture this, you can just say uh, you've got, you, you can back out of your, and double your display time so you can see the entire trace. So, for example, if it's more zoomed in on this part or something, maybe you guys are doing some analysis before you saved it or something, just make sure it's completely zoomed out. And then at that point, what you can do is be able to, oops, so hold on a second, I'm moving this out of the way. Um, then what you can do is be able to um, copy and paste it into your um, Word document. So you can just go from here and then paste it into whatever document that you're working on as your screenshot of the um, data that you have. And there it is. The thing that I'm also going to ask you to do is to, like we have done for the other, um, the other, um, the other documents. Let me just pull this out here. That's the wrong one, sorry. Keep doing that. Um, is to clearly label the muscle length in the text box underneath its associated portion of recording. So what does that mean? What that means is by muscle length, what they're referring to is that they're asking you to uh, tell what, the, uh, what these different tensions are on the... Uh, on the muscle. So if we look at what you have created here, what happened to make this trace is that you have um, slowly stretched the muscle. So at this point you had just a modest amount of passive stretch here. I think actually in this one it looks like they went down first and then up. So they started here, this was their zero point, so L is equal to zero. And then they loosened it by one turn, so that's L minus one. And this is L minus 2 and L minus 3. Each L is equal to 1 millimeter. So what you can do is just add in a text box that basically says 1 millimeter. So we can go under Insert, Text Box, and then just add um, 0 0.40. 0. And let me click and move this over to here. And what you're doing is you're basically uh, trying to make it so it's really clear that you have the uh, you have that label. Well, now this sometimes happens when you're working with Word documents where you get this thing to cover up and it's really irritating and annoying. And so what I want to just uh, show you guys is that what you can do is click on Format, and then um, what that'll do is uh, while you have your text box highlighted and you click on Format. This will allow you to do things like be able to reveal things that's underneath it. And so what we're going to ask is basically that um, this is this text box is going to be in front of the text. And now we can actually see the text box. 
So hopefully that'll be a bit of a time saver as you're playing with this stuff. Um, and then you can click, I'm using the arrow keys to move this around, and then you can change the font size so that it's, uh, it fits in there nicely. So I'm going to take it down to maybe 10 or so. Um, I can also fill in that text box so it's white. That makes it a little bit cleaner and I can actually see the uh, zero millimeters a little bit more easily. And maybe I'll take that um, font size down even a little bit more. So this gives you an idea of what each of these different things are. Now if I want to, uh, now I've just spent all this time making this text box. What you can do is copy and paste, create your next text box, move it over here, and then you can list this as uh, negative one millimeters, because that's what you've done, is that you've moved this over uh, minus one millimeters. Again, this actually looks like it's still a little bit too big, so you can shrink it down further. And if you find that it's um, the text needs to be smaller than eight points, then you can actually just type it in and ask for it to be something like, you know, I don't know, uh, you know five points if you really want to get tiny. Um, that's a little too small, but you get the idea. Okay, um, so that's zero, that's minus one, minus two would be right here, minus three, um, and you can say zero again, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. You can place these down here, or if you find them more convenient, maybe you can place it up here. And um, just as long as it's really clear what each of these bumps is referring to in terms of the length that you've added here. The purpose is not to drive you crazy with details, but to um, have you practice annotating data very carefully so that somebody who's approaching this, so let's say you pass this report on to a buddy, um, they would be actually able to look at it and understand what happened. And so the same thing applies for when you're generating a, a figure legend down below here. You would want your friend who hasn't taken the 291 lab to be able to leave, read your lab report and be able to understand what was going on. So let's say they're taking 290 and they're in that and then they want to be able to look at this and be like, oh, okay, I see that you actually loosened this up or you tighten this up. So you need to provide enough context and background for that to happen. So that's just a little bit of um, that figure three that we have there. So what I'm